How's it good people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Seeds and thank you for tuning in again. Okay, first, if you haven't watched the previous episode, the basic guide of color grading in DaVinci Resolve yet, I recommend you to watch it. I believe there are some useful things for you, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, so today I'm here to share the useful cinematic color grading technique with you, which is the vignette. What is vignette? Well, you are already seeing it right now, you know, this one, like this dark area around me the, basically the vignette is the situation that the area around the main object is darker than the main object like now so vignette is so useful when you want to focus on the main object in the scene so today using this footage i'm gonna show you guys how to create the cinematic vignette there are two important things Let's start. Okay, as you can see, this huge window will make a vignette. Well, I think there isn't the you know natural vignette that much on the set, but definitely I want to make those areas darker, you know, to emphasize this window light hitting the guy. So first, I'm just gonna make three more serial nodes. First one will be the noise reduction. I'm not gonna use this right now, but I'm gonna come back here later, maybe you know at the last. And my second one is for the highlight recovering you know this node is only for you know this window light i'm going to you know emphasize this i'm gonna deal with this highlight on this highlight recovering node and my third one is of course the contrast you know make the you know base and this one will be my saturation Probably I will add more, but first let's deal with the contrast. So first, as always, I'm gonna use this slider. So just crank it up to get the contrast. Just like this and also pivot to make uh, this image more brighter. Just like this. But now, obviously it's still dark. You know, we have to push the you know, total brightness up so hard so i'm gonna use this offset just crank it up let's stop right here but now it's you know pretty much flat you know it's just you know that the log got brighter there is no good contrast right now so i'm going to bring this lift down so now the image starts getting contrast right here so next, deal with this gain. Of course, we have to push it up. Well, usually I like to keep those highlights under like 900, you know, around 800. But this time, you know, this window light is so good. It's so beautiful. So let's get some crisp light. So I'm gonna go over 900, probably, I think around here. And also we need to push the gamma up. You know, focusing on this middle area. So I'm just gonna bring this up. Good. Okay, this is before, after, before, after. And next, moving to saturation node. First, of course, I'm gonna gain more saturation with this slider. So I'm just gonna boost this saturation slider. Yeah, this good. So now the both of image and parade says the blue on middle area is lifted down compared to you know red and green. So that's why the image looks kind of like green and kind of yellow. You know, anyway, it's weird. Probably I might end up doing it, but in this process, in this primary process, I want to make a base. You know, I want to make it look just normal, just balanced equally. So dealing with this blue on the middle area, so I'm going to use this gamma and shift this gamma to blue side. So now if I go blue side, like the position of you know, each like red, green, blue is changing. So looking at the parade and the image carefully, I'm just gonna make those balanced well. This is good, I think. But on the other hand, let's move this gang to red side a little bit. Just like this. Okay, this is before, after, before, 
and after. Okay, guys, if you want to know more basic stuff, like what is Node and how to use those two, what is like a primary saturation, what is those? Again, the basic guide of color grading in DaVinci Resolve I posted last time will be helpful, will be useful for you. So just watch it first and come back here later. That way you can understand this more. Okay, next I'm going to create the parallel node on this saturation. So those three are my like a color nodes like those three nodes are only for like saturation only for color the color group so first i'm gonna use hue versus luminance on this node so now i don't like this popping red on this cloth so using this tool i'm going to lower the brightness of deep red so just select this red and i'm going to bring it down like this let's do like this but still i want this close to have a nice color contrast so bring this yellow up just like this okay focus on this growth okay, this is before after before after now this red is more deep very good and also i don't like Oh, there is too many things that I don't like, but I don't like the you know, yellow feel on this back wall. I, you know, want it to be more like a cleaner. So going to hue versus saturation and select the back wall and I'm going to push it down. Like if I go down, it loses saturation and gets more like cleaner. So I'm just going to go down. See, huge difference. Okay, this is before. Like before it's kind of like not clean it's yellow but after very clean before after before and after and also again i'm gonna select this red right here i'm just gonna gain a little bit more saturation for this red cloth let's do like this okay so this is before after before after okay on this now i'm gonna make a creative look so name some just look but this time nothing crazy because this scene is you know the religious thing so i want to give it a slight film look but not crazy like a, like a tenet or jerkle look just like standard you know cinematic feel just slightly you know overall let's make it warm clean and happy but slightly film look so first let's shift this gamma to orange side to make this image more like orangey warm yeah, maybe just like this and let's focus on log shadow now okay focusing on this corner around here it's kind of shifted to like a red orange this way it doesn't look solid always i want like a solid sharp you know black in shadow so i'm going to shift the shadow to blue okay like this okay this is before after before after right the shadow is good and the total the temperature is good before after very good okay let me stop for a while to introduce today's sponsor art grid art grid is the royalty free footage platform for filmmakers from all over the world you can get high quality graded footages and also log a raw file if you want to boost your filmmaking creativity just hit the link below now with my link you can get two extra free months okay thank you continue so now i'm gonna focus on the highlight area which is the very important thing in today's color grading i'm gonna create a vignette around it but first i have to you know care about the light itself you know make this light to be ready so go to this highlight recovering node i'm gonna use hdr and highlight First, I'm going to select the area for this highlight. So I think I'm gonna do, just make sure I select this window light and this window light and a little bit of the cloth because the highlight is hitting in on that hard. Okay, let's do like, just like this, good. And start boost exposure up. So watch carefully, if I go up, this window light only this window light is getting more stronger and punchier and it's getting more detailed so don't be afraid i'm just gonna crank it up let's see like this okay this is before after before 
after. See, now it feels like this window got more details, more stronger puncture, the contrasty, nice clean window lights. But I'm not gonna finish it yet. So using the log highlight. And I'm gonna shift this highlight to blue. Basically, I'm trying to get like a nice, holy white light from window. So I'm just gonna shift this highlight to blue. Like it has to be pure, clean white. So not obviously like this or like this or like this. It has to be clean white. This should be fine. Okay, this is before, after, before, after. Okay, so create another serial node. So this is for vignette, finally. Okay, here I'm gonna use this pen tool and draw the like, triangle along with this window light. So I want a spotlight from this window, like from this direction to this direction, you know, hitting this man. So just imagine that one strong narrow light is coming out from window. And as it goes into the room, it spreads out. You know, the light gets weaker as it goes. So I'm gonna draw the triangle like this adjust position and size and how it works is so simple you know what i do will be reflected on this area but what i want to do is just go back to this window tool and hit this invert now the selected area is like opposite so now this means i selected this outside of this window so what i do will be reflected on this outside of mask so Basically, what I do is bring this curve down to make a vignette, you know, to emphasize this spotlight from the window. I'm just gonna do it like this. And going to this window tool, I'm gonna make it softer, just like this. It's so natural. Okay, this is before, after, before, after. Like there is a spotlight from this window. Well, actually, there isn't, but there is right now. So now you know how this window is powerful, how the vignette is powerful. Now we can focus on this guy. But the problem is the camera moves forward during the scene, right? So that means the position and the size of this spotlight has to be changing through the scene. Logically, as the camera goes forward, the spotlight has to be like a you know spreading out like around this area the camera approaches to this man so this spotlight has to spread out in other words vignette will be narrower you know i mean it has to be outside of this you know this screen this frame completely by around here right so to do that i'm gonna use this tracking tool so usually i will do it automatically but this time the you know move is kind of complicated confusing so this time i have to do it frame by frame but not you know single frame by single frame i'm gonna do it casually frankly so just hit this frame and i'm gonna pose at the you know start position well the beginning is not a problem but i think around here yeah, around here, the spotlight should, you know, start spreading out. So I'm just going to play it. So now the spotlight you know, doesn't have to you know, change. But around here, I'm just going to move this edge a little bit outside and play it again and move it, spread them out like this and move it and spread them out move it spread move it here let's do like this almost out now completely out okay let's replay you know as the camera goes forward the spotlight is changing you know spreading out spreading out spreading out out of frame good so let's see without this line good spotlight very good like this scene makes me you know think something good and i think the spotlight 
move is not weird. Almost perfect. Okay, I'm down with this. Okay, so actually I'm gonna add one more serial note. This is for my like adjustment. So what I'm gonna do is going to log wheels and using this mid tone, and I'm just gonna gain this a little bit to make the image a little bit creamier. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here and bring this shadow down to you know make the you know shadow i mean to make this bottom line more like sharper more lower so i'm just gonna bring this down like this and focusing on this edge i mean this shadow is starting like breaking you know what i mean so i'm just gonna adjust this low range you know it allows you to you know control the position of this bottom line so if i go lower you know it moves you know, up so using this low range i'm just gonna take care of this shadow good so this is before after before and after and at the last i'm gonna do the noise reduction now okay zoom in a lot of noises right and also here a lot of noises i want to reduce it so i'm going to use the noise reduction from open fx on the first node and i'm just going to set it up quickly okay so focusing on around this man okay this is before noises after so clean and what about this corner so this is before and after okay this is it now i'm gonna turn off all of this and let me take you to the journey of all processes we did to get this look from this log flat image enjoy Hey, welcome back so important things when you want to make a vignette is first take care of the object you want to emphasize this time i used hdr highlight to make the you know window light more stronger and punchier and also log highlight to get nice and clean white and second using a window tool and cover the area you want to make it darker and bring the brightness down so what i want to say is if you want to emphasize something don't just do one thing you need to take care of both of them the one which will be emphasized and the one which will be the sacrifice of it and that way you can get a nice cinematic vignette there is always two things light and dark okay this is it if you have any questions about this color grading don't hesitate to leave in the comment below so today's topic is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video if you like this one show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode